In August 2016, a mysterious video surfaced online, purportedly showing an offering taking place at the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, Switzerland. The footage, which quickly went viral, depicted several individuals in black cloaks performing what appeared to be an offering in front of a statue of the Hindu deity Shiva, located on the grounds of the CERN laboratory. This incident sparked widespread controversy. The video in question, recorded at night, shows a group of cloaked figures gathered around the Shiva statue in a courtyard at CERN. One of the individuals lies down in front of the statue, while another person appears to perform an offering. The mysterious nature of the scene, coupled with the filming, created a sense of eerie authenticity. The video ends abruptly, adding to the mystery and leaving viewers with more questions than answers. CERN, known for housing the Large Hadron Collider, is the world's largest and most powerful particle physics laboratory. The Shiva statue, gifted to CERN by the Indian government, symbolizes the cosmic dance of creation and destruction, aligning with the scientific pursuits of understanding the fundamental nature of the universe. The statue's presence, however, contributed to the unsettling nature of the video as it provided a backdrop that seemed to blend science with the mystical offering that appeared to be taking place. In response to the video, CERN quickly issued a statement clarifying that the incident was a prank conducted by individuals with access to the CERN premises. The organization emphasized that the strange video was unauthorized and violated CERN's professional and ethical standards. CERN assured the public that no actual harm occurred and that the actions of those involved were not representative of the institution's values. CERN also highlighted that it would review its security measures to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. Despite being a high-security facility, CERN's campus is accessible to a large number of scientists, engineers and visitors from around the world. The prank demonstrated a breach in security protocols, prompting CERN to reassess how access is granted and monitored. The public expects CERN to uphold the highest standards of professionalism and integrity. This video, even if intended as a joke, would inevitably lead to widespread outrage and concern. Such an act would feed into various theories about CERN's activities, further eroding public trust in the organization and in scientific research more broadly. Many people couldn't understand why workers would do this. The video fueled a multitude of theories, ranging from strange practices to speculations about CERN's true endeavors and purpose. Some individuals put forward the idea that the video was a genuine offering hinting at sinister activities behind CERN's scientific facade. Mainstream media outlets covered the incident, often highlighting the sensational aspects of the story. The coverage varied from objective reporting on CERN's response to more speculative pieces exploring the possible implications of the video. This widespread media attention amplified public interest and concern, further entrenching the incident in popular discourse. The video had a notable impact on public perception of CERN and, by extension, scientific institutions. As previously mentioned, many people couldn't wrap their heads around why the workers did this, with many stating that nothing good would come from this. CERN employees are expected to adhere to strict standards, and engaging in or filming these types of videos violates these standards and shows a profound lack of judgment. Such behavior is not only unprofessional, but also deeply disrespectful to the institution and its mission. Officials said the following. Every year, CERN welcomes thousands of scientific users from all over the world, and sometimes some of them let their humor go too far. What astonished many people was the apparent lack of repercussions for those who took part in this video. Following the first wave of news outlets that covered the video, no more updates were provided, no individuals were terminated, and it appears that there was a lack of accountability. A user highlighted that engaging in such behavior in their workplace, particularly in a setting related to the same subject matter as CERN, would result in severe repercussions. Nevertheless, there has been no recent information regarding the workers featured in the film. CERN's reputation is built on decades of scientific excellence and rigorous research. This video is responsible for sowing seeds of doubt and suspicion about the activities conducted at CERN. This incident underscores the delicate balance that scientific organizations must maintain between openness and security, 
as well as the need to foster public trust through transparency and effective communication. The video at CERN raises important questions about the conduct of individuals within professional and scientific environments. The behavior of the participants, although intended as a joke, was inappropriate and disrespectful, undermining the integrity of the institution. This incident highlights the necessity for clear guidelines and the enforcement of professional standards within research facilities. The rapid dissemination of the video through social media platforms demonstrates the powerful role that digital media plays in shaping public opinion and spreading information. The incident at CERN illustrates how people could easily take something like this the wrong way. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator, has captured the imagination of both scientists and the public since its inauguration in 2008. Operated by the European Organization for Nuclear Research near Geneva, Switzerland, the Collider's primary goal is to explore the fundamental particles that constitute matter, advancing our understanding of the universe. Among the many theories and hypotheses surrounding the LHC's capabilities, one stands out for its sensational nature and the public concern it has generated the possibility of creating a black hole. The Large Hadron Collider accelerates protons to near the speed of light and then collides them head-on. These collisions occur at extremely high energies, replicating conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. By observing the particles and forces at play during these collisions, scientists aim to uncover the fundamental building blocks of the universe and understand how they interact. It's important to note that scientists working at the Large Hadron Collider have said that the probability of black hole forming in the collider is quite low. Nevertheless, certain hypotheses propose the potential occurrence of the creation of minuscule quantum black holes. Witnessing such an occurrence would be exhilarating in relation to our comprehension of the cosmos. Moreover, it would be entirely secure. Black holes are created in outer space when massive stars, significantly larger than our Sun, undergo a process of self-collapse at the conclusion of their lifespan. They densely accumulate a substantial quantity of materials inside a significantly limited area. These objects are very compact, resulting in a gravitational force so strong that even light cannot escape from them. The speculations on black holes at the collider pertain to the particles generated from the collisions of proton pairs. These are minuscule, or quantum, black holes. Quantum black holes' existence is uncertain according to scientists. Natural occurrences frequently involve the collision of particles, which constitutes the physical aspect of the Large Hadron Collider investigations. It is a known fact that the Earth is continuously subjected to cosmic rays. When these rays interact with the atmosphere, particles collide with one another in a manner similar to the collisions intentionally created at the collider. Just as we are aware that the Earth remains secure against the natural onslaught of cosmic rays, we are equally aware that replicating these collisions does not pose any danger to the Earth. Nature's collisions can occur at significantly higher energy levels than those achieved in the collider. The formation of a black hole would validate the hypothesis that our universe extends beyond the conventional four dimensions, three spatial dimensions plus one temporal dimension, and encompasses more dimensions. Scientists have just announced we are closer than ever to finally proving the multiverse exists. Scientists claim that our universe encompasses the entirety of existence, including anything that has ever existed and will come into being in the future. However, it is possible that this is not true. There are numerous alternative methods by which other worlds could potentially exist. One possibility is that humans exist as a singular component within a subset of limitless universes referred to as the multiverse. These universes could have emerged early after the Big Bang, potentially existing in concealed extra dimensions or spontaneously manifesting any time a quantum attribute transitions from a range of potential states to a singular reality. The scientific validity of the concept of multiverse was bolstered in the 1980s with the discovery of inflation, a phase during which the early cosmos underwent rapid expansion. Inflationary theory elucidates the reason behind the uniform and level nature of the cosmos, while also postulating the emergence of numerous distinct bubble universes. However, inflation is merely one pathway to a multiverse and it faces opposition from skeptics. Recently, numerous cosmologists have embraced alternate concepts such as cyclic universe theories, 
which propose that the universe undergoes an eternal cycle of expansion and contraction. These theories still propose the existence of numerous worlds, but at varying points in time. In order to detect proof of these several universes, scientists examined the cosmic microwave background. In 2011, scientists identified four regions in the sky that had the potential to uncover these coveted marks in the future. If such a statement is accurate, it could serve as a significant element in substantiating the validity of the multiverse theory, suggesting the existence of other universes, potentially including alternate versions of ourselves, in some remote location. However, it is necessary for us to locate those wounds and subsequently provide evidence that they are indeed impressions left by other worlds. The Mystery of Parallel Universes The concept of parallel universes, also known as the multiverse, is one of the most fascinating and controversial ideas in modern science and philosophy. It suggests the existence of multiple, possibly infinite, universes that exist alongside our own, each with its own distinct properties, dimensions, and laws of physics. While the idea of parallel universes has long been a staple of science fiction, it has gained traction in the scientific community through theories in cosmology, quantum mechanics, and string theory. One of the earliest and most well-known scientific theories that suggest the existence of parallel universes is the many-worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Proposed by physicist Hugh Everett III in 1957, many-worlds interpretation posits that every quantum event branches off into a separate universe, creating a vast, ever-growing multiverse. According to this interpretation, every possible outcome of a quantum event actually occurs, but in different parallel worlds. For example, if a radioactive atom can decay or not decay, both scenarios happen, one in our universe and one in another. The theory of cosmic inflation, proposed by Alan Guth in the early 1980s, provides another potential basis for parallel universes. According to this theory, the rapid expansion of the universe immediately after the Big Bang caused bubbles of space-time to form, each potentially developing into a separate universe with its own distinct properties. This idea, often referred to as the bubble universe or eternal inflation theory, suggests that our universe is just one of many bubbles floating in a larger multiverse. String theory, which aims to unify all fundamental forces of nature, also implies the existence of multiple universes. In string theory, the fundamental particles are not point-like, but rather one-dimensional strings that vibrate at different frequencies. The theory suggests that there are numerous ways to configure these strings, leading to a vast landscape of possible universes, each with different physical laws and constants. This landscape multiverse concept indicates that our universe is just one of many possible configurations. One of the main challenges in the study of parallel universes is the lack of direct evidence. Since these universes are separate from our own, observing or interacting with them is currently beyond our technological capabilities. However, scientists have proposed indirect methods of testing the multiverse hypothesis. For instance, collisions between bubble universes might leave detectable imprints in the cosmic microwave background radiation. Additionally, some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that certain anomalies in particle behavior could hint at the existence of parallel worlds. The concept of parallel universes has profound implications for cosmology. It challenges the notion of a singular, unique universe and suggests that our understanding of the cosmos is far from complete. If parallel universes exist, they could provide explanations for unresolved questions in cosmology, such as the fine-tuning of physical constants and the nature of dark matter and dark energy. The multiverse theory could also reshape our understanding of the Big Bang, suggesting it is just one of many such events in an eternally inflating multiverse. The idea of parallel universes raises fundamental philosophical questions about the nature of reality. If every possible outcome of every event occurs in some universe, what does this mean for our understanding of existence and identity? The many worlds interpretation, for example, suggests that there are countless versions of ourselves living out different lives in parallel worlds. This notion challenges our sense of individuality and the uniqueness of our experiences. The existence of parallel universes also has implications for the debate between free will and determinism. If every possible decision we could make results in a new branch of the multiverse, 
Does this mean that all our choices are predetermined in some way? Alternatively, it could be argued that the multiverse framework supports a form of free will as every possible choice is realized in some universe. These questions highlight the complex interplay between physics and philosophy in the study of parallel universes. As of right now, the idea of parallel universes is a captivating and thought-provoking concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of reality. While the theories supporting the existence of parallel universes are still speculative and lack direct evidence, they offer intriguing possibilities for explaining the mysteries of the cosmos and the nature of existence.